Hello Stonites. Hope all of you are good. Today we will be learning about the digestive system. What do the kidneys do? And what does the brain do? You can keep your textbook with you for reference. And do watch the video attentively to understand the lesson. The digestive system. All living organisms need food to grow and develop. It also protects us from diseases and keeps us healthy. But the food we eat cannot be used by the body in its original state. It needs to be broken down into smaller pieces so that it is easy for our body to use the nutrients. This changing of food by breaking it down into tiny particles is called digestion. The stomach and the intestines are the main organs that digest our food. The digested food or the nutrients from the body is carried to all parts of the body by the blood. Your parents must be telling you to chew your food properly and eat and not to eat in a hurry, right? Well, that's because when we chew the food in our mouth, we are making it into smaller pieces and the digestive juices or the saliva in our mouth makes it softer and easy to swallow the food. The food we swallow is pushed down the tube called the gullet or the food pipe into the stomach. Once it reaches the stomach, the food mixes with the digestive juices that turn the food into a thick liquid just like a porridge. Food which is a thick liquid by now, is pushed to the intestines. Here, it is broken down into even smaller pieces and it moves into the blood. The blood then takes it to the different parts of the body. The undigested part of the food that the body can't use are pushed out of the intestines when you go to the toilet. When babies are born, they cannot digest the food. They do not have teeth to chew the food. So their food is soft, which helps them to digest the food. What do the kidneys do? The kidneys are located below the ribcage at the back of the body. Kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs. It is as big as a computer mouse in an adult. Its function is to filter blood and remove waste products and excess water from the body. The process of removing waste products from the body is called excretion. The kidneys excrete a liquid waste product called urine. We remove the urine when we go to the toilet. Every day, our blood passes through the kidney about 40 times to produce about 1 litre of urine. We have to drink a lot of water, about 6 to 8 glasses, to keep our kidneys healthy. If the blood stops flowing into the kidneys, we can die. If any of our kidneys stop working because of diseases, doctors can remove it. We can still work well with one healthy kidney. Some people do not have healthy kidneys and both the kidneys stop working. They will need to go to a machine that acts like a kidney to filter and clean blood. This is called dialysis. Sometimes people have a kidney transplant. This means that they get a kidney from another person. We produce less urine in a hot weather than in a cold weather because when it is hot, we lose a lot of water from our body as sweat. Whereas during a cold weather, we do not sweat much, so we produce more urine. What does the brain do? How do we remember our way home? Or how do we breathe without thinking about it? How do we know when we are hungry or thirsty? Where do dreams come from? All of this is done by the brain. The brain controls our entire body. Everything that we do 
is controlled by the brain. From breathing, heartbeat, dreams, memory, movement, thinking, intelligence and our senses. The brain is a soft grey wrinkly organ. It is protected by the skull. The brain is connected to the other parts of the body by nerves. Nerves send messages from the brain to the other parts and back to the brain. The brain and the nerves work together to form the nervous system. The different parts of the brain Cerebrum Cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It forms the upper part of the brain. Its functions are to control the sense organs, learning, problem solving, motor skills, imagination, creativity and much more. Cerebellum Cerebellum is located below the cerebrum. It is at the back. Its functions are to control our balance, posture and movement. Brain stem Brain stem is located at the base of the brain. It connects the brain to the spinal cord. Its functions are to control the actions such as heartbeat, breathing, blood pressure, blinking, sneezing and so on. Well, what happens if your brain is damaged? If the brain is damaged, then it can be serious as brain is the most important part of the body. The brain usually cannot repair itself like other organs. Our brain can be affected by germs that causes infections. Sometimes people have growths on their brain called tumors. Lack of oxygen and head injuries can also cause damage to our brain. Therefore, we must be careful with any injuries in our head and consult the doctor if necessary. So we have completed the lesson. I would like all of you to do some drawings. Take a time and do it in your free time. Firstly, on page 6, we have the human body. In page 8, the heart. Page 13, breathing. Page 18, we have the brain. Please draw a neat diagram and also label the different parts that you see in the diagram. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.